Have you ever wanted to be a hacker? Ever thought about how you would gain access to a system you weren't supposed to? Well, in this video, you're going to see how you can make Attic Hat to that more secure by donning your own attacker hat and trying to break it. When it comes to security, you don't just flip a switch and suddenly your app is secure. Instead of thinking of it as yes or no, it's better to think of it as a spectrum. Even with an app as simple as Attic Hat to that, We've got a lot of work to keep our application from becoming one of those security horror stories you read about. There's a few ways we can make some progress. The first step is putting on our attacker hat and doing an exercise called threat modeling. In threat modeling, you take advantage of the fact that you are the best person to attack your software. You have the most in-depth knowledge of it. Then you use those possible attack methods to make your application more secure. Remember, an attacker is probably not going to just randomly poke at your software. They have a goal in mind. This might be your user data, financial information you have, or the goal could be something outside your organization. Perhaps they want to take advantage of an open source library you maintain that other people use. Whatever the goal, they won't be able to get straight at it, because if it's important to you, it's probably pretty well protected. So an attacker is going to look for intermediate resources as stepping stones. They're going to investigate your environment and try to find different pieces they can take advantage of to make it further into your infrastructure. These intermediate resources could be servers running in a cluster, libraries you depend on, or even your developers themselves. As your attackers investigate, they're going to try to learn about any defensive measures you have in place, password policies, auditing practices, firewall rules, and the like. They're probably going to start the process of enumerating all of these things from information they can find online. And they might find a way to use all that to wiggle around your defensive measures to get access to information or plant malware or other nefarious things. This series of steps leading to a successful attack is called the kill chain. And it's our job to stop it. Our first impulse after figuring out a kill chain is often to take one of our defensive measures and just beef it up, add more firewall rules, segment the network. Instead, focus on reducing the attack surface of the pieces you use. That means removing unnecessary components and simplifying services and APIs to reduce an attacker's possible entry points. And rather than having one strong measure in place, it's more effective to employ defense in depth. Use a greater number of defensive measures that overlap. That way, if one thing fails for whatever reason, you have another backup behind it to protect you. The big idea, build up your defenses in layers, so that the attacker has to cry as they peel the onion. Now that you've seen the defensive strategy, be sure to subscribe below to see how you can use it to protect your supply chain, automatically discover vulnerabilities, and minimize phishing. Thanks for watching. And for letting me rock this excellent hat.